Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can make an outro with OutroMaker.com. So this is actually an updated version of the previous outro maker. It didn't have an editor like this and it's new and improved. You can add background music and stuff like that. So I'm just going to be teaching you essentially how to make an outro and how to save a bunch of time using some of the awesome features on OutroMaker.com. So once you sign up and log in, you want to go on templates and then it'll redirect you to this um, page right here. So as you can see, you're able to add a background image, um, background audio, draw your own custom video placeholders. So where the videos are going to be and a subscribe and external link annotation. So these are basically, let's just say you have a website. You can add like text in the bottom left, say, check out my website and add uh, annotation over it. And whoever presses it, it'll redirect them to your website. Same thing with the subscribe. It's pretty self-explanatory. However, the thing you will notice is that there is no text option. So you have to add text using a different program, maybe like Photoshop or Pixlr or any photo editor that's able to add text over a picture. So the first thing you want to do obviously is find a background. So I'm going to use unsplash.com since I love their wallpapers here. I'm just going to save one of them here and I'm going to go into Photoshop. So what they recommend is they recommend an image that's 16 to nine ratio full HD. So let me go into Photoshop here, press file new 920 by 1080 pixels, press okay. And now I want to add my wallpaper here. So let me just find it here. And then I'm going to resize it so it fits over the entire canvas here. Now it's time to add my text. I don't have to add the boxes since there's an option to add video placeholders anyways. There's no reason I should add boxes. So here, let me just say thanks for watching maybe. And just make it black so you guys can see it. Thanks for watching. Maybe I can make it all caps. And maybe like... Uh, exclamation mark just for I don't know <laughs> and then now I can also let's just say say previous video maybe because I don't know maybe the video you're showing is your previous video previous video let's just make this one white and the other one black actually the opposite let's just make this one white let's just resize it press ctrl t and to center you want to press ctrl a and then you want to press on the move tool and your layer right here. And you can either press um, this option right here, the fifth option, or you can go to layer, align, uh, layers to selection, and then horizontal centers, and then align in the middle. So let me just make this a little bit bigger. Let me just align it in the middle. And now I can also add like subscribe or something since let's, let's just say uh, you want them to subscribe to you or something. You can just add it in like the bottom. So it isn't so distracting. And I could just add the subscribe annotation over that. So let me just save this. And then I can go and save it as like outro maker or something. Outro maker. And I'm going to go back onto Google Chrome. And then I'm going to upload my image here. And I'm going to find it. Is it done downloading yet? There, it's just done saving. And now I can press it right here. And then select the image. So the next step now is to add either a default layout or draw your own. So you can just draw your own like right there. So I think I'm going to be doing that and just going to censor it. And then you like copy them or you can add sound to them. Maybe you want the video you're going to place here to have sound or you can just like make it the background or, or keep it silent and then add only background music. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to add uh, background music here, here, and it's going to upload. It may take a few seconds. So now that the background music is uploaded, now I want to add the subscribe annotation there. So let me just drag and select right there. And then now basically I'm done. Now all I have to do is go into the outros tab and select my video for like what's going to be in the outro, obviously. So here, let me just press new here. Here's the template preview. And now I'm going to browse through some of my videos. This is my uh, Van Phillips channel, if you guys were wondering. So let me just choose my last video since it's my previous video. And so here's just a preview of it. Um, you can select the video duration. So how long the outro is and the starting point of the video that you, you chose. So maybe there's interesting part in the video. Let's just say, uh, I don't know, you jump off a cliff and you want people to watch it. So you, they're going to click on it. Obviously, if I jump off a hill, I'm sure you guys want to watch it. And let's press finish here. And then once it turns green, you can download it. And uh, you can also preview it and delete it. So while I'm on that, I'm going to teach you something else once this fish is downloading. So basically I have an image of myself, right? Let's just pretend this is my video. I'm just going to add the outro at the end of it. And then I'm going to upload it onto YouTube. And then I'm going to teach you how to use this outro annotator. Basically in a click, 
um, adds all your annotations and cards. So here, let me just drag it onto my uh, right here. Let's just drag it. So you can see there's music. So it does work. And here's my outro right there. My face, obviously, my video. And now I have to render. So I'll get back to you guys when I'm done rendering it. Okay, so now that it's done rendering, I can now upload it. So let me just upload it over here. And then I can select it and try to find it here. So there it is. I'm going to set it as private so none of you guys can see it or any of my subscribers can see it. And while it's uploading here, I'm going to show you how you can add the outro annotator here. So basically on the website, there's going to be something called YouTube annotations right there. Um, you want to drag the outro annotator thing onto your uh, bookmarks tab. If you don't see it, you want to press control shift B and it'll hide and show. And basically you just want to drag onto there and then you'll see it. Once the video is done uploading, I'll show you what it does. Okay, now that the video is done uploading, I can show you guys the outro annotator thing that everyone's been waiting for. So what you want to do is go into annotations and now you want to pause the video and find which part of your video is the start of the outro. So mine starts at around six or seven. So I'll just press it here just to be safe. And basically what you do is you just press outro annotator and then this appears and then you can press create YouTube cards too if you want to. I, I would do it if I were you. Choose add titles under video if you want and choose which outro you have. I've created one 24 minutes ago and seven minutes ago. I know which one's the right one now and I press add. It will refresh once you press done and now it should have added your um, annotations and cards. So here, let's just play it. Bang. If you look at it, you can see that the title is a little bit um, overlapped here. It's just because I added the title. You can obviously not add the title if you wanted to, but you can see that the annotations work. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button as it would mean a lot. If we get it 500 likes, that would be great. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.